Hi, this is your math prof again, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do a perimeter word problem. All right, we just did one, and we're going to do another. Uh, the perimeter of a standard-sized rectangle is 40 feet. The length is 2 feet longer than the width. Find the dimensions. This is a perimeter problem. It's also a formula problem. There are some things you need to do. One, you need to know what a rectangle is. This is a rectangle, OK? Second, you need to know what the formula for perimeter is. You're going to be using it a lot. P equals 2L plus 2W. The reason for that is that this formula has two L's and two W's. If you add the two L's together and you add the two W's together, you get the perimeter. Perimeter is like a fence around the outside. So now, let's go back and look at what we're being told. We have to find length, we have to find width, because it's a perimeter problem. Notice that if you write the formula, let's write it up here, P equals 2L plus 2W. Notice you're given what the perimeter is right away. The perimeter of a standard sized rectangular rug is 40 feet. So we start out knowing the perimeter. The length is two feet longer than the width. Find the dimensions, and we have to find the width and the length. Length. So I have to find L and W. There's a trick to that, and the trick is this. We have to convert this equation that now has two letters in it, two variables, an L and a W. We have to convert that so that it only has one letter in it. Then we can solve it. And notice that we're given a way to convert. We're told that the length is, OK, the length L is, oh, equals, I should have said is right here, is two feet longer than the width. So it's the width. plus an additional two feet. All right, so L equals W plus two. All I have to do is substitute W plus two for L, because W plus two equals L. So I'm going to rewrite this formula. 40 equals two times W plus two plus 2w, and now I'm ready. Now I have one letter I need to find. I can solve this. I can do this problem. All right, so I'm going to have 40 equals 2 times w plus 2 plus 2w. I need to distribute here, so I'll have 40 plus oh, 40 equals 2w plus 4 plus 2w. Now I'm going to add my like terms together. 40 equals 4w plus 4. Because 2w, you've got 2w's, you add another 2w's, you now have four W's. All right, so here's my equation. I need to get the W term by itself. So I'm going to subtract four, which is the same as adding negative four, from both sides of the equation. Over here, four minus four is zero. Bring down the four W. Over here, 40 minus four is 36. Now I'm almost done. My equation is 36 equals 4 times w. To get w by itself, since 4 is being multiplied by w, I am going to divide by 4. 
by the number in front of the W. Later you'll find out that number is called the coefficient. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Now how would you find that out if you didn't know that? If you didn't know that 36 divided by 4 is 9? Simple, go to your calculator. 36 divided by 4, enter. There you go, it's 9. All right, 9 what? 9 feet. So the width, W, is 9 feet. Now the length, come over here. Look, W plus 2 is what length equals? I already know what W is, it's 9. So the length is going to equal 9 plus 2, which is 11. So the length is going to equal 11 feet. What did you do to solve this? You remembered what a rectangle was. You wrote out where the length and the width dimensions were. You remembered what the formula is, P equals 2L and 2W. You read the problem where the problem says that the length is two feet longer than the width. We say that the length is being given in terms of the width. That means you can write L equals and then something with a W over here, an expression with a W. That's called the length in terms of the width. All right, as long as you've got the length in terms of the width, you can write length as width, plus or minus something, or if it were a different problem, maybe times something. But you can write L so that it has a W in it, substitute it in for the L here, and then work out the problem, find the answer to the first letter, go back to this, to this equation right here that we got, and substitute the answer you have for the W in here and then add them together, and you get 11. Next.